Welcome to the Beats WonderCon 2024 coverage sponsored by The Buzz, the weekly business newsletter. I'm Carrie Lane and I'm here with the cast of Boy Kills World. There's a lot going on in this movie, a lot of exciting stunts. What was your favorite stunt to do or watch and what was maybe the hardest one? Oh my I, gosh. Well, I I got to do a lot of stunt training with our incredible team. I had two stunt doubles, Jackie and Nadine, who make me look completely badass. Um, and I, the hardest stunt I trained to do was like a jumping back kick, which didn't even make it into the movie. <laughs> but um, there's an amazing stunt where June 27th, my character gets like flung up into the air and they used wires for it and it was Ooh. really cool. Nice. Yeah. I enjoyed watching the jumping back kick that didn't make it into yeah. the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I, I was like relatively stunt free on this movie, which was great for me. I just got to watch I've been beaten up enough in previous movies, so, yeah. And then on this side? Yes, no, I, did, I, mi I missed the backflip <laughs> situation, sadly, and I didn't get to do any stunts, but that's good, because I usually break a rip or two on every movie that I do, so I was saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No stunts for me, <laughs> but I was often successfully double fisting uh, beverages the whole time. I always had a coffee and a water in both hands, so that would be hard when I would have to look at my lines. I'd have to think about what do I put down, the water or the coffee, when I pick up the script. So, yeah, that was my stunt. <laughs> I'm glad you finished that sentence, because how it started, I was a bit like, hmm, tell me more. Uh -huh. uh, right. So the it's title... Good to finish. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Uh, now, the title of the film itself is its own hashtag, but if you had to describe the movie with a hashtag, what would that hashtag be? Hashtag, you don't know what you're in for. <laughs> Hashtag um, imaginative violence. Uh, hashtag hold on to your butts. Ooh, okay. Hashtag. Hmm. Hashtag. I'm not really a hashtag guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more like go see the movie. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag go see the movie. Hashtag yeah. go see the movie. Easy peasy. And, you know, on set, you can plan, you can prep, but often things can not go as planned. Was there anything that was a happy accident, but it turned out for the better? We'll start on this side. We'll go again down. Um, well, I thought it was a pretty free set uh, in terms of acting. You know, Moritz, more our director, really encouraged us to explore a lot and so there were a lot of happy accidents that constantly occurred i mean you know between we did uh <laughs> we did uh we did a lot of scenes together me and charlto and michelle and and bill and uh and so what you would discover there was uh we were always discovering new things together right yeah absolutely. Yeah. and it's, it's a really fun way especially in in the dynamic between brett and i's character we got to like riff and do a lot of improv and um, that was that's super fun and you're discovering stuff all the time when you do that you just kind of throw stuff at each other to sort of you know do something new each time nice. yeah yeah no i i concur <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was a free set and it was a, a pretty outrageous character that i got to play so it was really fun to sort of see how far we could take that in certain ways nice. yeah yeah when you would see it come alive from the script and see how it was designed see everybody, you know, see the soldiers in their uniforms. It was so extreme and colorful that, yeah, to really see that play out was really exciting. Yeah, I think the costumes really deserve another m yeah. extra mention because mm -hmm. we worked with a South African team and they were so talented. Everything was, for m my character, everything was custom made. Everything was designed on my body and I, I had a say in um, some of those costumes as well and it was really collaborative and it was just, you know, in an old school way that you don't see it much anymore, where usually people just buy off the rack, whatever, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, so you've seen it before, but this is, it really adds to the movie. The costume design, the production design, um, shout out to South Africa. Yeah. Don't you think, Charlto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, Amazing. oh my God, I, I, my real stunt, okay, this was my stunt, was wearing that fur <laughs> coat in, uh, in Cape Town heat. That was really, <laughs> that was something. But I knew what I was getting into. Moritz was like, don't wear that coat. 
Like, and I'm like, but it looks just so him. I got to. He's like, you're going to be really hot. I'm like, I promise not to complain. And I didn't. Well, actually, then on that note, if you could take something from set, you don't have to, you know, say if you actually did. But if you could have taken a piece back, wardrobe or prop, what would you take and why? Um, I did. I took my, <laughs> um, my character has some pretty intense and amazing moves with two tomahawks. Oh. And I was lucky that there were probably eight or nine different sets of them because we needed soft ones and hard ones and ones that looked more real and ones that were bloodied. And so and one I'm, my yes, one of them <laughs> moved, but one of them might have walked off set with me accidentally, of course, yeah. totally accidentally. Yeah. I would have taken the cheese grater. There's a mm. cheese grating scene, something that Bill does with a cheese grater that I think is going to generate a lot of discussion. I think whoever's got, uh, yeah, whoever's <laughs> got that cheese grater, that's kind of like a great memento. Yeah. I took my shoes back because I <laughs> let them um, borrow my shoes for um, a certain sequence that we were doing, and uh, um, it really they repainted them. Mm -hmm. So that's now my little souvenir because I have them, but they're repainted in a two-tone um, to match a certain outfit I'm wearing. Um, I took the five to ten pounds that I gained from the incredible <laughs> Cape Town cuisine back with me to the States. Yeah, amazing food in Cape Town. Yes. Incredible. Cool. Some of the best food I've ever had, yeah. right? Favorite food item? Um, favorite food item? I guess there was a lot of different oyster variations I tried that were uh, something else. And there was a restaurant called Planta, and it was um, plant-based sushi. Ooh. Um, a plushi, sorry, it was called plushi, and it's called plant based sushi, and it was absolutely amazing. Best Indian food I've ever had at yeah, Tali. That place. that place was unbelievable. We yeah. ate very well, which was incredible. <laughs> like, I feel like you just keep talking about food and it's getting more hungry, yeah. but uh, is there anything else you would like to tell the fans or they should be on the lookout for? Um, just, uh, uh, <laughs> I think I did it with a hashtag watch the movie earlier. I think that's a really strong one, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's a different film. It's, it's something, I love doing movies that are different, but not so different that nobody wants to go watch them. Because it's like, what is that? You know what I mean? So, and I think, I think this definitely, for me, is something more creative, more artistic than you would normally see in the genre. Uh, more kind of an original voice. Um, so there's not a lot of those around. Um, it is just so fun and vibrant and wild and weird and poppy. And I think that, it, I know people talk a lot about seeing movies at home from the comfort of your couch, which I do a lot, or seeing them in theaters. And this one really deserves to be seen on the big screen because Moritz's vision and the way that he worked with our incredible fight choreographer, Dave, and the whole cast together, it just deserves being seen on a big screen. Um, so yeah, go, go to a movie theater. Kind of like a, a video game on crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Super wild and crazy, imaginative. And um, yeah, I don't think people will forget easily what they watched. Yeah, I, uh, I think that like like you all are saying, I mean, in a, a genre that we have a lot of lately, I think it really does its own thing in a very new and original way and takes a lot of risks, not only with the action, but also, I think, with the characters and how deeply they're drawn. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. There you go. You've heard all the inside on it. you got to go watch Boy Kills World. Have a good rest of your WonderCon. Right, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, you so much. much. Yeah.